Welcome guys, my name is Brandon Lawson. This is the Art Barn Studio YouTube channel. Okay, we're gonna be creating a giraffe today. So please check your supplies, make sure we have everything. Make sure you have your two paper towels, you have your cup of water, you have your paint, and the colors we are using today are brown, yellow, black, white, red, and a blue. Um, here's the finished picture, and you should have an 11 by 14 canvas in front of you, and your piece of chalk, because we're gonna start off by drawing the shapes. Um, if you're looking at my finished one, the head is what we're gonna start, and it is an oval. So we're gonna do the mouth and the head all in one. Then we're going to take the neck, two lines all the way down to the bottom of the canvas. Then the ears, um, don't look at the black line in the middle yet. We're just going to focus on the two outside lines. And then once we get that, we'll start from the point and then come in to create the edge of the ear. Um, the two horns, I guess you would call them, on top, we'll do a straight line with a circle on top. And then when we paint it in, you won't see those lines. So that's the first thing we're doing because the blue is going to be so dark on your canvas. Um, you won't be able to really to cover it with that yellow on the paint. So the first thing you're going to do, and I don't know if you can see my chalk, is you're going to have your oval. And then I'm going to draw two lines all the way to the end of the canvas for the neck. Inside that oval, I'm going to separate where that mouth is going to be. And for the ears, let's see if I can zoom in. You're gonna not do it off the top. Oops. Come on, I got paint on my chalk. Come off the side, curve, curve. Once you get that shape, go to that point and then curve the same direction to create that curve. Again, curve, curve. Oops, that one's a little too skinny. There we go. And then the antlers, two line, and then a circle at the top. Two lines with the circle at the top. Because again, we'll um, use the paint to fill in those lines. So you're gonna take your chalk and we're gonna draw this out first before we begin painting. Okay, now that we've drawn the giraffe out, paint brushes, we have three colors. And listen, because we have a large red and a small red. And then we have our yellow. So make sure when you hear me say red, you hear me say large or small because you don't want to try to paint the whole canvas with this. And we don't want to try to paint the small things with that. So we're starting with our large red brush. Um, if it's in the water, make sure you dab off all the extra water. And we're going to move to our blue. Blue is the first color. And we are painting around those lines. So we don't want to be going in the lines. We want to paint around those lines and make sure that you are spreading out that paint because any big chunks is going to take longer to blow dry or dry up and wait for the next step. So we're taking this blue and we're going to smear it all around. Now remember you have the edges of your canvas so you need to make sure that when you get that side filled in you don't forget to turn it and you have that edge right here because we want to paint this the same as the backgrounds so make sure you do this with all your edges and the top and the bottom or this would be a good time to switch to the small um, red brush if you don't feel like you can get in there with the big one Feel free to switch back and forth. Now I do want to make sure you understand that once you've used that brush, do not leave it on your paper towel. You want to stick the brush hair down in the water because this paint will ruin your brushes. It'll get all crusty if you don't um, stick it in there. So now that I'm done with that one, I'm going to stick it in the water and let it soak. The bottom, this is where you gotta be careful because you don't wanna get blue inside it. So you can flip it to the side. And I'm gonna paint the whole bottom, even though that's where his neck is gonna be. I'm gonna paint that whole bottom blue. Okay, so 
just gonna make sure all that's smoothed out. There's no big chunks. Brush is gonna go in the water to soak. Okay, now we're gonna be adding a layer of yellow. So you're gonna be using your big red brush. So make sure you get all the blue off by bouncing it in the water and then dabbing it on the paper towel. You do not want it dripping with water. So we're gonna be moving to yellow. And we're gonna take this yellow and we're gonna mix a little tiny brown into it. And I mean little, you just want a darker yellow. You don't want it bright yellow. So you can see I've added a little brown to my yellow to make it like a golden brown or yellow. Now, we're gonna be painting in the neck. Let's stop at that chin. We're not gonna go. All the way down. Again, don't go up into the face. You're just painting that neck with that color. Then we're gonna move up. We're gonna skip this, it's gonna be pink, so we're skipping that and we're gonna go up here. Sure, I don't see any white. And then we're gonna go on the outside part of that little ear, not the inside. And then we're gonna go up into the horns. And if, again, if you need to switch to the smaller red brush, feel free to switch if you need to. Well, I noticed this little curve's a little off, so I'll try to even that up. Okay, so we're going to wash off that, making sure we've got all that filled in with our yellow brown. And then while that dries, we're gonna jump to the pink part. Now we don't have pink on our tray, so I'm getting all that off, dab off the water, because I'm still using the same brush. And we're gonna make a little pink. We have red and we have white. Now it doesn't take, like the yellow and brown, it doesn't take a little bit of red to make pink. Just a little bit. Once you have a nice pink, then you're gonna fill in those three white spaces. And then the two ears up here with the pink. And we're gonna get this blow dried so we can add our last detail, which is the brown spots in the outline with the black. We gotta add the brown spots. So we gotta add our brown spots and then we're going to add our black. So little yellow brush, we're just gonna go into the brown and you're going to add your spots. Now, you can add them however or wherever you want. I'm just gonna draw a wiggly shape and then fill it in brown. Obviously you wanna make sure some are on the neck, some are on the face but we don't want to cover the whole face in them. So I've done two on the neck, which I feel like that's plenty. And I'm gonna go, and I don't wanna do it in the middle where the eyes are gonna be. You're gonna wanna do it on the side. Again, you look at your giraffe, figure out where your spots would be the best. Okay, once you've got your spots, you are gonna clean that yellow brush off. We're gonna go to the black, which is our last step. And we're gonna work on the eyes, the nostrils, the outlining, and then finish off with your initials um, in the bottom corner. So make sure you get, don't get a glump. You gotta make sure when you're getting the black, you don't want a big old glump. You kinda wanna, I like twist I'm twisting it on there. Okay, so your two eyes. I'm 
Make sure they're the same size. Not too close together. And then your two, the nostrils. And then you're going to outline it. So you want to start at the top and work your way around so it moves. And you've got to go all the way. Once you get down to the bottom, don't forget you're going to have to go inside and finish off between your mouth and then your ears and your head. So that is finishing off your giraffe. And then you're going to get your small brush still and you're going to find the bottom corner. and your initials and then. So I hope you enjoyed this one. And again, look back for Freebie Fridays. I upload a new draw along or paint along um, for you and your family to join in on.